So balancing a redox reaction is a little bit more tricky than a regular reaction. For example, the oxidation of iron 2 plus to iron 3 plus by chromate ion in an acid solution. We need to write an unbalanced equation that describes a reaction in the ionic form. So it's going to be a combination of iron 2 plus plus chromate ion to give iron 3 plus and chromium 3 plus. Second step is separate the equation into the two half reactions that describes the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reaction. So for this example, the oxidation half reaction is the conversion of iron 2 plus to iron 3 plus. You can clearly see that this corresponds to a loss of one electron. The reduction half reaction is the reduction of chromate ion where, uh, to chromium 3 plus because the chromium center is changing from 6 plus to 3 plus, so it's gaining electrons. And then uh, we need to balance the atoms in both half reactions separately for atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So for the chromate, you start with two chromium atoms on the left-hand side, so you need to have coefficient of two in the right-hand side. If the reaction is in acid, you will add water molecules to uh, the right-hand side to balance oxygen atoms and hydrogen ions to the left-hand side to balance hydrogen atoms. So for this half reaction, we have seven oxygen atoms uh, on the left-hand side, so we need seven water molecules to balance the number of oxygen atoms. And then <coughs> we'll have to add 14 hydrogen ions to balance the hydrogen atoms on the right-hand side of the equation. And then we add whatever number of electrons to one side of each half reaction to balance the charge. So for the oxidation uh, half reaction, you clearly need one electron to balance the charge. And for the reduction half reaction, you will add six electrons to the left-hand side to balance the difference in the charge uh, in both sides. And if necessary, if the number of electrons is not the same, you will need to make sure that the number of electrons in both half reactions is the same by multiplying one of them or the other times the E factor. So uh, it's clear here that we have six uh, electrons in that half reaction, while we have one electron in this half reaction, which means we need to multiply the first reaction times six in order to have the same number of electrons in both of them. The, these are going to be the balanced, the balanced equations for the two half reactions. And now we can simply add those two half reactions together and balance the final equation uh, and make sure that the electrons on both sides has to cancel. So when you add the oxidation half reaction to the reduction half reaction, uh, you will clearly cancel out the electrons between the two half reactions. If it doesn't cancel, it means that you did something wrong. And then you add up all the species in all uh, the equations. And that gives you the total equation that describes a reaction. Just to check, you just need to make sure that the number of atoms of each element and the charges are balanced. So if you look at hydrogen, you have 14 on the left hand side, you have 14 on the right hand side. Chromium, you have two, you have two. Iron, you have six, you have six. And oxygen, you have seven, you have seven. And the charge as well is balanced. Uh, you have 14 plus, plus two minus, plus six plus times two on the left hand side, that's 24. And if you look at the right hand side, you have six times three plus, plus two times three plus, that's 24 as well. So the charge is balanced. If your reaction is in basic solution, you will add hydroxide to both sides of the equation for every hydrogen that appears in the final equation. 
So let's do the balance equation for the oxidation of iodide using permanganate in acid solution uh, to yield molecular iodine and manganese oxide. So we start with the first equation that describes a reaction. It's going to be iodide combined with permanganate to give iodine plus manganese oxide then we need to split this equation to the two half reactions. So the oxidation is oxidation of iodide to iodine. So we need two here. And the reduction is going to be MnO4 minus changing to MnO2. So we start by adding the whatever number of electrons involved in each half reaction. So it's going to be plus two electrons in this one. And in the reduction reaction, you see that manganese has a seven plus oxidation state on the left hand side and have a four plus oxidation state on the right hand side which means it needs three electrons to balance the charge. Then we need to look a little bit more closely to the reduction half reaction to balance oxygen and hydrogen. As we said, we will need to add water molecules on the right hand side to balance number of oxygen atoms. So we need two water molecules and we will need to add hydrogen ions on the left hand side to balance the number of hydrogen atoms. So we need four hydrogen ions. So now we have a balanced half reaction in terms of the number of atoms of each element and the number of electrons. Now we need to look at the number of electrons in the oxidation half reaction in comparison to the number of electrons in the reduction half reaction is clearly not the same. So we need to multiply them times a factor in order to make them the same for both half reactions. Three times the oxidation half reaction in order to make this six and two times the reduction half reaction just to make the number of electrons six. So it's going to be two, eight, two, four. Now you have the same number of electrons in both sides. So when you, when you add up these half reactions, the number of electrons on the left hand side will cancel out with the number of electrons on the right hand side. And you will have two times, uh, three times two iodides, so it's six iodide ions plus two permanganate ions plus eight hydrogen ions so we're going to give you three iodine molecules plus two manganese oxide plus four water molecules this here is the overall balance equation for the reaction and just to make sure we need to to check that the number of atoms for each element is balanced six iodine, six iodine, two manganese, two manganese, eight oxygen is going to be two times two, four plus four, eight oxygen, eight hydrogen, so it's going to be four times two, eight hydrogen, and the charge, we have uh, six minus from this, and minus two, from this plus eight on the uh, left hand side that should add up to a zero charge and on the right hand side we have zero 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 so the charge is balanced in both sides you have now you have a balanced equation describing the reaction